It is 602 right now, a desperate search in Gaston County as crews try to find the body of a teenage girl who drowned in the South Fork River. Wake up, Charlotte's Billy G. Sean now live in Gaston County for us this morning. And Billy G., for the folks at home who are wondering, it was just two weeks ago that another teen drowned in that nearby spot. Yeah, good morning, Ben and Carolyn. You know, it's just awful that we're having to report this story again. I was speaking to a student who lives in the area earlier this morning, and he just described this as tragedy after tragedy. Two weeks ago, it was a middle schooler, a 14-year-old who drowned in the same river. And now yesterday, the same exact thing happening again. But in this most recent case, the 16-year-old's body has been located for hours yesterday. Multiple agencies from Gaston County doing those recovery efforts, but they had to come to a stop once nightfall hit and then you remember that heavy rain that moved through the area that had stopped crews as well. Now yesterday around four o'clock yesterday we're told that three teenage girls all best friends were all swimming at the soft Fort, Fort River under the High Shoals Bridge when one of them that 16 year old girl slipped fell and never made it back to shore. The two other girls were pulled to safety after someone saw them swimming and needed help. But this morning, officials are sending a strong message. The South Fork River is not safe for swimming. The South Fork River is a treacherous river. The currents are in some places that could create rip tides. Um, we've got the dams. Uh, we've got water that flow over dams and have their own that has it, its own problems. The water at the bottom is uneven. It's shallow in some places where it's where it's ankle deep. And then you step and when you can't see because of the darkness of the water and you're immediately over your head. And right now, crews have the road blocked off until those recovery efforts begin at 8 o'clock this morning. This could potentially affect your travel if you're coming in this area, so expect delays. But it's just a sad story, and definitely our hearts goes out to the parents. Ben, Carolyn? For sure, just, just a heartbreaking, uh, antagonizing situation there for those parents. All right, Billie Jean, thank you.